Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mattercraft Repressurize for Minecraft 1.15. Today as you can see I have a list of things today but basically we would like to make a PCB. So first of all we have to make an empty PCB, a UV light box, an etching acid, etching tank and, and then we can produce an unassembled PCB. And the reason we want to do it PCBs is because we need, uh, they're basically needed in all of the higher level or the advanced machines from Pneumaticraft or Pressurized. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to make these. So we need redstone torches, gold nuggets and a, piece, a sheet of plastic with three empty PCBs. I reckon to start with we need nine of those. So let's put the ingredients into this hopper here. So we need nine. So um, I'm going to put not all of the gold nuggets in. Uh, I think it was three wasn't it? I think that's nine. 55, 64 minus that, that's good, yes. Three of those plus um, some redstone torches. We needed two of each, didn't we? So we needed six, I think. And that should allow us to make, we can go over here now, it's a bit quieter from, away from that. That should allow us to make some empty PCBs. Now, an empty PCB, you need to basically put a pattern on it. And the way you do that, let's have a look at this, and the uses of this, we can make a, an unassembled PCB using a, an assembly controller. We don't have that yet. We can make a UV light box. So we need to make a UV light box next. And to do that, we need one of these PCB blueprints, which is really the pattern that gets etched onto the board, uh, and some redstone lamps and some uh, tubing and some compressed iron. Not too difficult. This was the one we got last time from the um, villager trading. A little bit more expensive than normal, but it's not too bad. Then we got nine of those. So let's go and start with crafting up the UV light box. This hissing is coming from here, but it's actually not losing any pressure, it's just making noise saying it's at the maximum pressure. So we just have to ignore it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, next thing, let's have a look at the use of this. There's only one use. Can we actually click it into shape? We can. Good. So we've got our UV light box and the thing you need to do with that one, if you look at the use of this one, it will produce a, an empty PCB that doesn't, 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 sorry let me start again, the, this one has got no pattern on it so there's no chance of an etch working, this one's fully etched and it's a 100% chance so it will produce a unassembled PCB which is this thing here. Now to make that we then need this really into an etching tank so we need some etching acid but I suppose before that we need the etching tank so let's have a look at the recipe for this. So it's obsidian glass, two brick walls, one small tank and some reinforced brick slabs. Have I got enough stuff in here? Let's have a look. I've got some recompressed iron, I've got a little bit short of compressed iron but I've got plenty of stone that's no big deal so we'll we're fine with that. Let's go and make some more compressed iron while I'm doing thinking about this. Um, reinforced brick slabs, I've only got one of those. Oops, I threw it down anyway. So let's just put this in, let's just put the iron into here. Make that, get that compressed to start with. Five blocks. At this stage of the game I've got a lot of iron as it's up, it's because of the farm hit behind me. Well, that's a bit better. Nice and quiet. So we need to make some more of these, which we need um, just actually one set of those. I think it's just one set. Let's make one of those. Because then we need to make the walls. Oh, actually, I think we need to make... Yes, that'll give us six wall. I've got two walls already. Oh, I think I've got enough of the walls. Oh, dear. And I'm going to make another set of these recipe for that. We need to make the, the slabs as well. I don't have those in my inventory. No good. It doesn't matter, we use these all the time anyway for various machines, so that's not a big deal. So I wanted to make the etching tank, didn't I? So we needed a small tank, and I think there's one of those in here. Yeah, a small fluid tank with nothing in it. Um, obsidian and some glass panes. Now my inventory is a bit full, I'll just put a few bits and pieces up here while I do that. So we need one glass pane and two pieces of obsidian, or two blocks of obsidian. And that should be enough to make the etching tank. If I can see it again, <laughs> there it is. So yes, we can we can make that. 
And now we've got a few bits and pieces that we don't need, so let's just put those away in this tank here. We probably don't need these reinforced stones at the moment. I do need these plastic sheets actually. I would like to make uh, another compressor. So, we, but the, before we do that, we need to make some etching fluid. Now, etching fluid, oddly enough, isn't very difficult if you read the recipe. But unfortunately for me, I can't read recipes very well, and because I find a, um, a bucket of empty um, plastic the same colour as an empty bucket, so that's an empty bucket like that. And what we need to do is we need to make etching acid. So we need a bucket of etching acid, which is this one. And you see that does tell me if I bother looking at it. I didn't look at it. It looks like an empty bucket to me. So I messed that up. <laughs> but now we've got a plastic a bucket. We can just go and fill it up. Hopefully we've got some materials ready that we can actually make a bucket. I think um, molten plastic. At the moment I've got none because that's in here. But this is set up with two buckets of diesel and two redstone. That's not plastic. That makes lubricant, doesn't it? And this one here should have ten pieces of coal and one bucket of LPG in it. So let's just turn, ooh, that was fast. Oh, let's just turn that on. There we go, that quiets that down now. So we're now starting to make some uh, molten plastic. So we'll look at that. How much have we got now? We've got three buckets already, so we've got enough. So we'll, well, what we'll do is we'll turn this off now and we'll take our bucket of molten plastic. We're bound to need more molten plastic anyway. You see, that's, that's something I'm doing next, an air grate. Right. So what we do for this, is we put all of these ingredients in here. So we want that, 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 and one of rotting flesh. Should be enough to make a bucket of uh, etching acid, if I've got everything correct. I don't always. I will be honest. If I'm not paying attention, I do mess it up a bit. So then we've got this and it's then etched. And then after the act, now let's look at the use of this. We get this unassembled PCB. And the uses of that is you need to assemble it. So all we need to make some transistors. So we need three gold, one redstone, one plastic. So let's go and get the bits and pieces we need for that. I would like to make six, I think. Now I need to make nine. So I need nine places of plastic, nine redstone dust and um, 27 gold nuggets and I've got enough gold nuggets for hard that I got exactly 27 that's good so we needed nine of these if I'm not mistaken and then nine pieces of plastic if you can halve that can't I bring one more down just double check the rest because I do tend to get it wrong in this particular case so I want a transistor which is this one yeah, I think that looks good so we can put these bits into there and we should get some transistors out. And it's also night time yet again. Actually that's because I was messing around between between last night and this night. So that one, that one and this one should give us the ingredients we need for the that. So I'll have a quick sleep and I'll be actually I can have a quick sleep over here, can't I? My oh, lag's horrible at the moment. And I'm actually at the moment I'm actually running on a multiplayer world, so the lag should be better. And you can see this the drone actually was picking up some coal and putting it into here because I, maybe i didn't show you that i did upgrade now put some requester frames on here and then i came along here and put some gold and not some gold some coal and some charcoal into this chest so it's taking stuff out of there right can you see those transistors popping now so we can take those out of here there we go so we've got a bucket of matching acid which is fantastic and everything else now, next thing. Oh, and I made some recipes. In fact, we actually get quite a lot of recipes for this one because of this one. Um, so what do we need to do next? We need to put basically put this into an UV light box. Now, I'm not sure if the UV light, what it needs. So let's just put it down and have a look at it. So it just needs pressure. But this is one of the things which, which you really do want to have um, speed upgrades into. For the time being, we won't. Have, we don't have any speed upgrades. Let's just put this down here and then pick it up again with this. Let's go and find some place to put this down. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to use this place area over here because we've got plenty of space on this. So let's put down like some. Let's put it down. Let's put it down here. 
and let's also put the etching tank down beside this as well but maybe just one block away from it because that comes into it next here like that and I think this also needs oh this just needs etching fluid as far as I can see oh and temperature so it needs heating up that's fine okay so now we just need to put down the pipes I don't think there's a pipe for this one but it does need a, a vortex tube so let's get that I should have enough pieces of pipe with me and if not I have to go and get some right I have to go and get some see you in a second right I'm back I also of course need a vortex tube on this one so let's put the vortex tube down first that'll be the hot side and this will be the cool side so we can actually put you know what we can do I made this thermal compressor and the recipe for this one is basically a compressor with just bits of metal and uh, tubes around it. Not, not very expensive, we've done lots of stuff like this. But I believe you can actually put this down here and then this will actually retain heat. So let's have a, uh, and pressure. So at the moment it's all flattened out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just get this thing wired into this. So we need the pipes, which I also, which I also made. We just connect those up like this, and then of course this is actually disconnected at the moment, so we'll just connect it in, and then this should start to get pressure. Should have some. Great. So what we now need to do is to put these unassembled pieces, these empty PCBs here, to give them a pattern. Let's just turn that around. Let's do that. So we need put all nine of those in there like that. So now it's working. And this process is very slow. So there's a the chance of 7%. As you can see, it goes up here. We get to 100%. What I'm going to do is I haven't got um, any speed upgrades available. But we could take borrow them from here for the time being. Let's just take these four out of here. So that will make a lot of difference. Um, to this process and it, not a little bit of difference but like a lot of difference yeah, you can see it's even getting its pattern now which is fantastic so let's put that these upgrades into here like that and then it should start to go up a lot faster so as you can see it's going up a lot faster and when it's finished it'll come out here so then we need to etch this um so we just need a bucket of etching fluid into here like that and that should be ready let's have a look at this now what's it saying it has got a temperature of course we've got it has got a temperature isn't it i probably don't want it to work quite so much with the temperature because it's going to take all the power out of here but that, it'll get refueled from the thing so well, let's just see how we get on with this one so we can actually set this threshold here so when it gets out when it gets rejected from here but 100 percent seems like a good chance to me I've never actually done anything less than 100% in this. So what are we up to now? 81%. 82%. Now it's gone slow again. So in the, in the meantime, while this is all going on, I'm going to make... I probably need a, a, a restrictor in here to reduce the pressure a little bit. Because what we would like to make... Then we can do it with an advanced PCB. And then once you've got... Uh, an advanced PCB on there, you can control it down to the finest detail. So that'll carry on, and we don't need to worry about it. When this one's finished, it'll transfer to here, and the next one will also start automatically. So we're fine, we can leave that. So, so what I'm going to do, I'll be back in a few seconds with some more speed upgrades, and uh, which one is it called exactly? It's the, it, it's the blue one, this one here, the regulator tube module. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I'm back actually, and I've got the regulator tube. They're always a bit tricky to put on. Yeah, you need one block here, and then one one pipe behind it, just so you can do it like this. And then you always need to remove the item you want to do. So this was the vortex tube. So we need to heat this up and make this sure this is on this side, like that. You can always turn it around, of course. See that goes red nicely like that. So this should, when we reconnect it back up again, get some more heat. So what we want to do. I'm not exactly sure what's the best order to do things and let's, for the time being let's get these running because these that's interesting I'll put some oh it only lets me put in one at a time ah oh, that's what it is tell you what I'll get a quick hopper and I'll put a hopper on this and we can then leave that to do its business I might, I might have one in here yes I do so 
so we don't really need these two connected at the same time because we haven't got that much pressure in terms of things like that so we can put those in there and then they should automatically end up in here and they will stack once for empty pcb boards these are actually also stacked now it's a balancing act with this one at the moment we've got 1.2 bar so i can put another speed upgrade in here in fact i could put another two speed upgrade in there but you'll notice that the pressure is now dropping so if i haven't got enough speed going in this these are going to basically run out and i think around about f it looks like this is okay it's still going down in pressure once it go be goes below one then there's too many in it so what we can do then is i would like to connect this one up let's just have a look at this no redstone signal so we just need a lever we can then turn it off with a lever can't we i have a we'll lever somewhere to go seems to be a standard thing i have with me actually levers so that's got a threshold of zero so we can turn it up safe enough to stand on this normally it's not just, you will get burnt on this but you get so now you see it's flashing like this when it oops when anything is flashing in, in pneumatic craft it basically means two problems really one it's got two it's not got enough something but also of course it's lots of lag so you don't want to do either in that case so now we've got in here let's look at these Let's take these three out of here to start with and put them into the into here. Oh yes, they don't stack. And then this etching fluid, it'll automatically do that. So all we need to do now is to heat it up. I don't know what temperature we need. Let's just turn it on and see what happens. So the temperature should rise reasonably quickly. Ah, oh, I see. So as the temperature here rises, the, the etching time decreases. In fact, you can see etching acid usage is about zero. So the hotter it is, the more etching acid you use as well. So, so come, and again, it's this, you can see this is now getting a little bar on here. So what's it telling me here? So now it's going down a bit. So what we'll do is we'll just turn this off. Because we actually we don't care about time. Well, I don't care about time. This thing has got a lot of pressure. It's got five bar. That would make sense to take this pressure out of here and feed it back into this. Let's see if we can do that. And while I'm doing that, let's have a look at this one. Not quite 100% yet. 95% done. And the pressure here is just on the bar. It's just on the one, uh, the one bar limit. One point oh five. So the f uh, what's this day is there? Yeah, it looks like it's good actually. This is going up very slowly, which is the right direction. And see now we've got the second one came in automatically. Fantastic. Actually, it is slightly logarithmic. This isn't it? I don't remember it being so. But you see that this has gone up very fast and it's the last time that's actually that but we can always cook these again and then send them back out so that's no big deal so we'll look how we're we doing for these so let's push this one into here like that 82 percent done oh i see this purple bar is the percentage of the chance so if you're feeling impatient you can simply take the ones out of here before they get to that level so let's say 75 percent chance let's put this one into here and see what happens to this one so now we've got three unassembled pcbs great so now we've got to assemble these up i can actually wait till i get oh actually i need 10 of these would make five let's while i'm waiting let's just make another one of these in fact there is another there is another compressor i want to make so while that's all doing its business let's just make this other compressor one of the easy for remote sites one of the best ones to, to do would be to install uh, a compressor that works just by itself without any interaction and this is the one with the electrostatic compressor is the one that's useful so it tells you about it 
has been so okay it's creating energy from lightning so when the compressor is hit by lightning it produces 200,000 milliliters of air instantly to increase the chance of spikes place down a grid of iron bars connected to the compressor nodes you can place down multiple electrostatic compressors on the same grid and the incoming air will be shared amongst them the grid of iron bars is effectively out to five blocks so you need um, five blocks outwards now I'm going to put this one on top of the um, spawner or the yeah I've got a spawner built we'll have a look at that shortly I think I think we might have enough time for that so what we want to do with this is we can just quickly make this one up so that's this one like this and I've got all the bits in here so I've got this I'd already made the rotor and com air compressor and the rest of it and then we can put this one down we've got iron bars here I probably haven't got nowhere near enough iron bars but while that's doing that let's come over here and have a look at how my farm is doing it looks like it's not getting stuff's not getting picked up so either this is full which it is <laughs> let's give that a quick sort and you can see that there's quite a lot of iron coming in here so that should then be allowing this to feed up so what I need to do is find another way to empty this out I'll probably do the same as I've done on the other side so let's quickly go and make some iron up. Easiest thing to tap is the uses of this. And you can just shift click it in. So we've got four, three stacks and 48. That's it. Let's put those into there like that. In fact, it's probably good to take three of these. And then simply do it like this. I'll tell you what. Let's not do that. Let's do it like this take one of those out and then just do the recipe for that shift click it in so let's say we want um, 10 oh, actually I've got 11 iron blocks because I've probably had one already before so we can then simply put this into here like this I think I'll keep a stack with me just because I want to make this stuff up it's night time again so I'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second so now we've got actually seven unassembled PCBs and I've got, I made some more transistors. We've got 12 transistors and I think we've got 12 um, capacitors in the other in the other tank. In fact, the only use you've got for these is to make PCBs. So let's have a look at it. And this chest here has a tank, didn't I? So we've got these. And the only use for this is to make, oh, we can actually make this, but this is for the secu security um security device and we don't use that well not in single player anyway so that's let's go back and have a look at that one and the uses of the transistor is probably the same it does have a couple more uses oh we need you need to make a remote network node and these so we're going to make these today so let's get these done and then we've actually got the, probably the last of the instruments let's have a look at the uses of these because that's the only uses we've got so we can make six of these what achievement do I get? Now the fun really starts, and indeed it does. Let's have a look at the uses of printed circuit boards. I think we covered this in the previous episode. So, for example, one of these will make four advanced PCBs. So, what I would like to make is the assembly controller because that is where it cuts out two steps. We don't need etching acid, we don't need the ultraviolet light box, we can just use this. It doesn't use that much power. So, we actually need four of these devices in there. So that's each one of these has got one um, device, except for the controller. And I think the controller's got three. So what we actually laser that one, two, three, and that's got th no, that's got one. I'm sure one of these had three. Let's just see which one it is. That's got one. That's got oh this one here. Yes, the assembly controller's got three. So we need this as well. So we need. F Three plus four will give us seven. Okay, so we've got enough PCBs to do this, and that would be actually a really good thing to do. We'll do. I think we'll do that next time because I need to set up some bits and pieces. Anyway, we've only got six printed circuit boards. I need to make some more plastic. So let's just put those to one side, and I would like to go and have a look at now if we've still got enough time. That is the other 
where I've been setting up the um, mob spawner so it's over here as we saw it the last time so I'll see you when I get there this is actually a redesign of the previous one I'd realized this morning one of my AFK position was too low and I needed to go up another 20 odd blocks so I extended it up as you can see I still left some cobble in there just to show the whole version but it was a lot smaller and here we come to it, the work area here uh, <clears throat> on top of this we now have this area and it's a bit all lopsided the reason for that is there's a pathway around the on one side of this and when I get here I'll be very surprised that there aren't a lot of mobs around actually there aren't any mobs around fantastic so this is the this is what you can see as the is the base and here I've got a wall and here I've got some iron bars Now the iron bars are to prevent spiders are getting through I'm not sure if they can get through anyway because of this these trap doors and the trap doors prevent any mobs except for spiders and um, creepers spawning so this was really designed just for really getting creepers as it happens while I was building this I already managed to um, uh, <coughs> I've already managed to to get enough creepers to actually make the creeper seed that I was intending to use it for. No mind, well, well, I think it's still valid. So here we have, for example, this. Now, it looks like I've only got one grate in here. I've got grates. Anyway, let's just remove this grate and you can see what I've been doing. So basically I put a pipe down here around us like this. And then each one of those I've put a grate. Now what I've done is I camouflage the grate. So let's put the grate back again. And we'll camouflage it we need these stone bricks to camouflage it with so all we need to do is put that down like this and then when you actually camouflage it so let's get the camouflage applicator down here it's already set to stone bricks as you notice it says it here stone bricks and you can also highlight all of these so you can see i've got grates everywhere here all the way across the end and there's sort of a this type of pattern what i was hoping for let's right, right click like that and you can see this looks like a brick wall what i was hoping for is that these are actually um do not let light through because that would make it a lot more efficient so let's have a look press f7 no I'll press f7 no i didn't you'll see that here it looks like light is being let through otherwise the this would be red and also here but that's probably i'm not sure why i've got light coming through here down here yeah i can understand that so these trap doors will actually let the mobs drop down. Good. So let's now start by completing this off here, like just putting these two bricks back. And I've actually only got one brick. Oh, it's no problem. I've got some stone here, reinforced stone, I think. Yeah. So I can make another four bricks. Oh, that's the wrong one. Actually, I'll leave. The, I'll put one of these down for the time being. Let's just do it like that. And we'll go and get those later on so what we now need to do is to pipe all this up here so you can see the last one of those is this all we need to do is put down a compressor and i was going to use this electrostatic compressor but this takes quite a long time but let's have a look and i will go downstairs and get the other bits i need for this um i need a com normal compressor really I think I've actually used a normal compressor for something else, unless it just happens to be downstairs. The mobs don't spawn very well during the daytime. Ouch. They do spawn quite nicely at night. What I wanted was some more reinforced stones in the time. Oh, there we are. I don't need to do that. We've got bricks here. Look. Hmm. So what I've got to do is I'll take these iron bars, and I would like a slab too. Let's use one. Oh, no, it doesn't go on it, does it? I have to use one of these slabs. Have I got any slabs in here? No. So I have to use cobblestone slabs for cobblestone slabs. Like that. Put the other piece of cobblestone back. I don't know why I got my extra one. Like that. And then, <clears throat> so it is night time. So there's a good chance of the time I was down there that a mob might have spawned in here. It says look like they have done and when they do they land here and I can just hit them and I haven't got the <laughs> I haven't got even got the weapon with me I'm not doing very well today I can tell you right let's go up here so now 
we can put this electrostatic compressor down and it doesn't really matter that much for it. I don't think it matters that much very well very much worse so it says five blocks doesn't it so one two three four five blocks out that was the wrong one never mind let's put this one down here I can then remove this so this is where I want the electrostatic compressor to go so let's put that down like this and I now need to get up a bit because it's too low down at the moment. so we'll just put down a slab here and then we'll just go up a bit what can I use to climb up with because I didn't really bring any sensible blocks reinforced stone that'll do So what you do, as, as from I understand this, is you make a mesh. Now you can do it like, normally you'd take this up high, but since we're already high, I don't need to take it up high, so I have to press shift on this. So I can do it like this, two blocks, maybe three blocks like this. And so this height is 243, so that's a good height for lightning to hit. And I think from three blocks down it's relatively straightforward to make a mesh of these guys. So let's just do that. Oh yeah, it leaves a hole in this, doesn't it? Actually, it's not a hole. It's just a place down there, isn't it? So there's a, there is a there is a ceiling on top of this. So there, that's the construction, and we can expand this out as much as we can. So from this height, I should easily be able to reach these. When I built it first time, I didn't. I was far too high, and you can go out five blocks. And this will definitely collect air. Let's do it. I think this is the fifth block as they're toppling. Like that. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Maybe one more. I don't want to fall off the edge. I'm pressing shift. But this is actually a slab, so it might not be good. It might not work. <laughs> right, that's good. Slabs don't work the same way when you're pressing shift, so I just have to fall down. So we can just carry on doing this. Alright, that's the last one. So this will then hopefully over time get some get hit by lightning and get some pressure. So we can then take this pressure out of here and bring it down. That's the intention anyway. Doesn't work, does it not work? No. But obviously, like everything else. I'm going to make sure this has got a security upgrade in that because that's bound to be one of the upgrades in it. The other one's volume, and that's also a very good thing to put in this one. The volume upgrades because obviously the more the longer you're away or if it's not working properly, you get quite a lot of air. Let's just bring this down. I think I would like to bring it down here. But this little block here prevents you falling just catching on the ladder and going straight down like that so what will happen next and no mob spawned which is a bit odd is i'm going to put a compressor down here but maybe at the same time as i'll take this up and we'll connect it in to the other one yeah i think that's a good idea let's just dig up these it looks like i've gone too far i need one more block don't i let's just do that looks like it's this position so I'll remove this one quickly and I'll carry on building this must be in the way let's go down here one block can I now put this on here to come down I'm just having a think here as you, see, as you can see I'm no, I'll go down another block and we'll try it from there because I would like to get it coming straight down in here like this. So it looks like I need another block here, pipe I mean, and another tube down here. That's right, good. That'll work nicely. And then we can just link this in. Where should we do it? Like that, I think. So if I put another compressor down here, it would simply can it'll force us to get pressured up and then when that gets pressured up these grates will push and they push very hard so the mobs are going to get pushed 
and they should get pushed eventually to this wall. This oh, I'll go back up here and have a look. Got some little warmth around up there. I'm not quite sure where the lights go. Oh, I do know where the lights coming in from here. Yes, there's a block underneath here that's uh, where the underneath you can't see it. I'll have a quick look, shall we? Take this one away because it fell down. See, there's a block here, and that's basically letting the light in. In fact, that's handy to have that block. Did I lose it? No, I've got two more down here. So I can put it down there. I can reduce the light by doing putting another block here on this wall, and that will actually reduce it. Or maybe I can put a slab here because what I'd like to do is come over here and then if the creeper stuck on the edge here I can attract his attention and then drops down and then it can grind him but we've got no creepers at the moment let's have a look I'm going to come down here so everything's built uh, but we don't have enough pressure yet so let's but I'll show you the principle of what's going to happen first of all we need a salt jar only and we need this solium dagger is that the only one I've got? I'm just not sure whether I've got one with some spider essence. Yes, I've got some spider essence in here too. In fact, you can see here I've actually got another jar of ten spider. Now, spider essence, if we're good for the use of that one, which is a tier three, um, we'll make spider seeds, and the use of those make spider essence, and the use of that is string and spider eye. Both handy things to have, um, depending on the mod, the mod pack, of course. So now it's sunrise, so I'm going to have a look up to see if there's anybody spawned up here. Sometimes they spawn like crazy and sometimes they don't spawn at all. But it looks like we're out of luck. We're out of luck. So what I'll do is I'll come back in a minute or two when a few mobs have spawned. I'll see you in a second. So this time we have got mobs here. And there's definitely spiders and there's probably a creeper. I'm not caring about the creeper so much. There's, there's a creeper. Look, and you see, he drops down like that. And you can take your dagger like this, and you can hit him. Now, I do not want his essence anymore because I've got a seed. So we'll just kill him with a, a normal s a sword. I think someone's got mending on it. Yes, it has. Sharpness three and mending. So the other, there's a spider there. I can hear it. But what we can also do is go up like this. If there's a creeper there, we can just get out of the way. Now. I, in the meantime, I was here. I went and added another compressor in here like this. So at the moment, it's it's on. It's got 0.38 bar, and I'm just thinking to myself, I probably ought to disable this. So if I do the wrong one, probably let's do it there. Yeah, that's okay. I can probably not. Yeah, leave that one then like that. So this bar should go up, pressure should go up, and when it reaches about 2 bar, the moment it's a bit on the slow side, let's be able to speed upgrade, and I can shift some more coal in this. Let's give it 4 speed upgrades in it. <laughs> See that makes a difference. Now the pressure should go up fairly quickly, and when it goes up to 2 bar, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take these out. This is actually quite. Let's have a look at this one. Nice. It will give it. It will allow these things to push it about 16 blocks. So what I'm going to do now is it's already reached that level, just about. So let's come and have a look. Open this up in here again. Now the creeper won't be around here because he can't get near. And you can see these things are pushing now. And they're pushing the mobs away. While I'm here, I can put this back. There's an ordinary stone block in here. And the mobs will be ending up down here. And they should, with better luck, be pushed into this. So here we've got one already. And the other one's a spider. And that can't go down here. So we can simply just... Uh, oh, I was going to use this, wasn't I? Three hits, unfortunately. And get the gunpowder. So we can, we can safely come up here now. Because the spider can't reach it, and you'll see it's pushing, and in fact it's pushing it to about the right level. What happened there? The guy got hit <laughs> by the spider, even if it was uh, facing the wrong way. So now we've got another spider in here, like three spiders in that one, and that's how it's working. 
and sometimes a bit struck down here when they've been killed like this one you have to go and get it and then you go down back down to the bottom and wait for more to come up to spawn and that's the principle it's it would be would be nice to know if there are mobs up there and maybe we can do that with one more component from um pneumatic after pressure it's got the universal sensor and i think the universal sensor is this one so we need a, a seismic sensor some not too expensive actually we need plastic so this is a highly flexible device and can monitor a wide selection of blocks entities and world conditions and emit redstone signals as needed great so we could basically set up a redstone torch to monitor uh, mobs and then just when it's lit up we can uh, go and then go up and get some i think that's how we're going to be doing that anyway i'll do that for next time So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. See, I've come back to base because I wanted to show off my um, new machines in the, in the last scene. Anyway, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.